Aye. How do you open a pack of bacon? In our house, we stab it with a knife. Cut away the lidding film, and after you've taken out a few rashers, you then wrap it up in cling film. It's messy and very, very far from being ideal. Another example is for ready meals. Well, at the minute, you're supposed to remove the lidding film and throw it away. You then recycle the empty tray. Now, each lidding film only weighs a few grams. In the UK, we get through 1.3 billion ready meals a year. So that's over 5,000 tonnes of this lidding film being sent to landfill. And that's from ready meals alone. We need to address the issue of plastic waste and we need to do it urgently. What good are all the benefits from plastic packaging if in the end the packaging clogs our landfills, pollutes our oceans and takes away from the health of the planet? Plastic waste impacts the quality of human and animal lives across the globe. This is an issue demanding our attention in the here and now. Recycling has a prominent role to play in addressing plastic waste. However, one of the biggest issues facing the recycling industry is flexible plastics. Over the year, we've been highly efficient in reducing material thickness while continually improving functionality. Unfortunately, the end result is that plastics are just too flimsy to be recycled. To establish the infrastructure to properly process flexible plastics, it would require a major investment and it would take over 10 years to implement. But the impact would be on less than 1% of plastics by weight. There's no doubt that plastic packaging receives a bad press. In fact, sometimes it's easy to feel like plastic is one of the greatest evils facing society. But I would say that this view doesn't take into account the whole picture and look at the positives that a responsible use of plastics can bring to modern life. The vast majority of food packaging is there for a very good reason. Packaging technologists have designed highly effective packaging which ensures that the food reaches the consumer in good condition. Packaging plays a key role in packing, transit, in the store, and even once you get the product home. It should be noted that food packaging also plays a vital role in communicating to the consumer. We shouldn't ignore the hard work of the creatives behind the designs which persuade the consumer to buy the packs in the first place. We also need to recognise the packaging producer who turns those sexy designs into a reality. And aside from the cosmetics, Packaging plays a vital and a very practical role in communicating allergen information, use by dates and cooking instructions. Ripping open that packaging and wrapping it in cling film or sandwich bags can have a much more serious impact than the loss of brand recognition and increased packaging waste. When packaging doesn't function well, the health of consumers can be put at risk. Factors such as growth of bacteria or cross-contamination are evident. A common misconception is that bacteria does not survive in the fridge. In fact, listeria can grow at temperatures of 4 degrees and moist, cool environments such as your fridge can be breeding grounds for bacteria. Unopened packaging is rarely a problem. But it's what happens after it's opened, and that's the key. Now, unfortunately, despite its benefits, we can't say that packaging is perfect. Wrap rage is estimated to be responsible for up to 60,000 people a year being treated for injuries. In one survey, 71% say they've been injured while opening packaging, and in 2004, the US had 6,500 emergency room visits from opening packaging. Knives such as this, scissors, hammers, screwdriver, and teeth are common implements used to open packaging. There's got to be a better way. So while plastic packaging is clearly not the great evil that some would have us believe, there are areas that we need to address. But packaging is only one part of the sustainability picture. And there's another major issue that we cannot ignore, and that is the issue of food waste. I was astonished when I learned the true impact of food waste. Just one kilogram of food waste produces the same amount of deadly carbon emissions as sending 25,000 500 ml plastic bottles to landfill, and that's according to Zero Waste Scotland. It's incredible. So reducing food waste has never been more important. The last eight years were the hottest in global records that date back to 1880, with 2021 ranking as the sixth hottest year ever, according to analysis from NASA. On top of that, every decade since the 1960s has been hotter than the previous one. 
Scientists have declared that we are right now in a climate crisis. Climate instability and rising temperatures affects food security. Even before the war in Ukraine, there were concerns over global food security, but now that war has added to those concerns, with major worries over supplies of wheat and sunflower oil. The, major, the impact of a major reduction in the availability of fertilisers is likely to be felt for years to come as crop yields fail. Reducing food waste is critical for both food security and the environment. Sometimes you need to look hard to see the silver lining, but the COVID pandemic has seen consumer patterns change. Self-reported self food waste levels in the UK fell by 34% during the first lockdown of 2020. That is the sharpest decline on record. Research carried out by Zero Waste Scotland, RAP and the University of Leeds suggested more considerate shopping and creative cooking has contributed to this initial fall. Local food production and local shopping trends are accelerating across the UK. There is a willingness from consumers to be more responsible with their choices. But we need to ensure that they are guided and supported to make those choices. It needs to be an industry-wide, joined-up approach. The responsibility cannot lie with food producers alone and retailers need to, to enable the, the changes required of consumer habits. Packaging also has a key role to play in supporting the reduction of food waste and in changing consumer behaviour. Well, earlier on I mentioned that there has to be a better way, so I want to take this opportunity to summarise the extent of the challenge for that better way. Right, number one, we need packaging which is easy to open by the consumer and that's going to avoid wrap rage. Two, we need packaging that, is, that can be reclosed multiple times to keep food fresher for longer. Three, we need to retain the original packaging to avoid the use of secondary packaging. Four, when reclosed, the closure should be secure to reduce the potential risk of cross-contamination. Five, packaging needs to look attractive to consumers so they buy it in the first place. Six, the packaging also needs to continue to clearly communicate key information to the consumer. Seven, just a minor one, it needs to be suitable for recycling by the existing processes. No problem really. So to give you a bit more information about me, I've got a long background in labels and packaging. I've been involved in technical roles and commercial roles and pretty much everything in between. I've worked across a number of industries including telecoms, consumer electronics and tobacco. However, the food industry has been the main focus for several years and I've worked with many of the main manufacturers and retailers. Now I've got a track record in delivering sustainable packaging solutions. With the reseal it label, I've designed packaging which improves convenience to, to the consumer, but also helps reduce food waste. I'm very proud to say that several million of these packs are sold in UK retailers every single week. I'm also proud that my kids are wholly sick of me pointing out the packs to them, but that's the dad's duty after all. While increasing consumer convenience and reducing food waste is important, I believe there was a possibility for developing a solution which would also allow the packaging to be recycled. Working with a number of bodies across the industry, including OPRL, we developed a solution. And that solution allowed the packaging to be easily opened, securely reclosed multiple times, and then collected for recycling. That's the tray plus the lidding film. Essentially, we have converted a pack consisting of a tray and a separate lidding film into a polyester box. I'm sure you'll be aware of, uh, aware of Tesco's traffic light categories for packaging. Well, this technology was the first film to be moved into or the first lidding film, sorry, to be moved into the green list. It was launched in 2020 by Tesco themselves and by Asda on products such as coleslaw and grapes. Recover is a further advance on that technology, and for the first time, it allows virtually all lidding film to be collected for recycling, as well as offering unique levels of convenience for the consumer. We spoke earlier about a pack of bacon. Instead of using the knife, you're able to easily open the pack, remove the rashers, securely reclose it multiple times, and once finished, the whole pack is approved for curbside collection for recycling. So how does it work? Recover is produced in two layers of polyester. Now that can include PCR to avoid plastic tax implications. 
The bottom layer has been designed to permanently seal to the polyester tray. There's a cut through on the base layer so that when peeled back, the pack is cleanly opened and allowed full access to the, contacts, uh, to the contents. The adhesive remains on the top film and that avoids contamination with the contents and the rear of the living film remains permanently adhered to the tray allowing the lid to be open and closed multiple times. When we close, it's a good closure that will keep food fresher for longer as well as reducing the risk of contamination. Now, reed cover has been designed with the food producer very much in mind. It's designed to run at existing speeds and existing temperatures. The base layer is designed to secure a highly effective weld seal to the tray. The undercut is designed for each individual pack to ensure it works efficiently with the contents. And there are options for high barrier, anti-fog, microwave cooking and even oven cooking. Well, as you know, there's a wide range of food trays. Recover is unique is the only technology that can be used with vacuum form trays and ready meal trays, as well as high barrier modified atmosphere packaging. It's extremely clear and it's the thinnest of any comparable solution. It can also be fully printed to ensure that the brands retain their shelf presence. Recover presents an opportunity for a whole range of products to be packed in recyclable packaging for the very first time. For vacuum form trays, Recover is able to offer a complete solution. Recover will work with standard base films, however, we have been able to offer the thinnest barrier base layer, which works perfectly with Recover to create a high barrier, fully recyclable pack, which is easy to open and securely reclose. For vacuum form trays, Recover is a revolutionary development and one which will offer significant benefits to the food producer, the consumer and to the environment. Now, UK retailers have made a number of ambitious commitments for recyclable packaging. And until now, there are a number of products that fail short of those commitments. Recover is ideally placed to offer a unique solution for those products. The challenges facing the industry are considerable. There is no silver bullet that will address all those challenges. However, Recover will make a significant contribution with increasing customer convenience, keeping food fresher for longer, Increasing, increasing recycling and reducing the use of secondary packaging. Recover will reduce the amount of plastic being sent to landfill and will reduce food waste. It might even keep some rat rage victims out of a &E. Maybe. Well, I hope that this presentation was of interest. And it's a shame that we are unable to do this in person. If, uh, if you'd like to contact me, I would love the opportunity to discuss this further. If you believe that Recover can offer benefits to you or your customers, please let me know and we can discuss it in much more, much more detail. We are confident that Recover can offer practical benefits to the consumer as well as to the environment. And we look forward to working with you to see those benefits being realised. Thank you for listening. <laughs>